Alright, let's see if we can figure out how to play chicken. Now the objective of the game is to score 10,000 points first and not be a chicken about it. What you're going to need to get started is five regular dice and one die that has just two sides of it marked with a chicken. Those should be included with the game. Now you're also going to need a scorecard and a pen, but I imagine you can come up with those on your own so it's not included in the box. Alright, let's get right into it. Well, how do you get to that 10,000 point mark to win the game? Well, only certain dice and combinations of dice qualify as points. They are the ones, the fives, three or more of a kind, and the chicken. How much are each worth? Let's get into that next. Now, before we get started into the scoring guide, let me just say that we're going to show some real world examples of how this works. It makes it a little bit easier to understand, but let's go over the basics. It's not hard. Roll a five and that's worth 50 points. Roll a one and that's worth 100 points. Now if you roll multiples of any number in a single throw of the dice, it multiplies those as well. And let me explain how that works. If you roll three of any number other than the number one, it multiplies that number by 100. So for example, three twos will be worth 200 points, three threes, 300 points, three fours, 400 points, etc. If you roll four of any number other than the number one, it doubles what you would have received for three of a kind. For example, four twos would be worth 400 points. Four threes would be worth 600 points, etc. Now, if you roll a five of any number, which doesn't happen very often, other than the number one, it doubles again from four of a kind. For example, five twos would be worth 800 points. Now, if you have a little trouble following the math, don't worry. There's a point scoring guide in the instructions that you can refer to that'll help you through it. Now the number ones are multiplied a little differently. If you roll three ones, that's worth 1,000 points. And after that, the same doubling rule applies like it does to every other number. For example, four ones equals 2,000. Five ones equals a whopping 4,000 points. Now obviously that chicken die is special. If you land the die with one of the chickens face up and there are only two on that die, it counts as a wild and it can be used to complete three or more of a kind, or if you want to keep it on its own, it's worth 100 points. Now, if it doesn't land with the chicken face up, it can be rolled again as long as there's at least one other die to roll with it. And let's get into the gameplay so you can see how that might work out. The person who most recently paid for a chicken dinner, well, they go first. Now, to start your turn, roll all six dice. Look for any of the dice that are eligible for points. Those are the ones, fives, three or more of a kind, and the chicken die, just like we talked about. Set those aside and tally up the points. The dice that are not points can be rolled again. As long as you continue to roll at least one die worth points, your turn continues. So there are basically two ways your turn ends. One, you voluntarily decide you don't want to continue and stop throwing. Or two, you throw no dice that are worth any points. Now if that happens, your turn is not only over, but you lose any and all points you've accumulated during that turn. At the beginning of the game, each player must reach a minimum of a thousand points in a turn before they can write down their score and begin their climb to that 10,000 point goal. It's not as hard as it might sound. One of the best ways to help you get there is by throwing points with all your regular dice in one turn. Not only do you get to pick up all six dice again and continue to throw, you get a bonus of 500 points. One of the best ways to get to that 10,000 point goal is to use what's called stealing the roll. Once a player has established that 1,000 point minimum and is on the scorecard, they have the option to continue rolling where the last player voluntarily stopped. Instead of starting from scratch, they pick up the non-point dice and roll. By rolling at least one point eligible die to keep, they get the previous player's last point total plus whatever they roll. Remember though, failure to throw at least one die that is worth points will end your turn and forfeit all the points accumulated. It's a little nerve-wracking, but you're not chicken, are you? So everyone's on the board, lots of stealing the roll has taken place, and you are climbing to that 10,000 point target. How is the winner determined? Well. The first player to reach 10,000 points temporarily wins. I say temporarily because once someone has crossed that threshold and marked down their points, every other player gets one more turn to try and catch up and overthrow the leader. 
Stealing the roll is absolutely permitted during this final round. Gameplay is over once every other player has had a turn. Scores are tallied, and winner, winner, chicken dinner. So those are the rules and basic instructions of playing chicken. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you enjoy the game. I'll be releasing another video shortly showing some throws of the dice and scoring examples. However, in the meantime, if you have any questions or need anything clarified, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks again.